In the year 2000, at 19, merely a child, I attempted to take my life in the waters of the Golden Gate Bridge. At the millisecond that my hands left the rail, it was an instant regret for my actions and a prayer to live. I myself am a two-time attempted suicide survivor. I struggled with depression and addiction my entire life. When I was first diagnosed um, bipolar when I was 14, my, my father said, no, 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 no. There's no peop crazy people in my family. You are not bipolar and you're not going to therapy. Pain is such a private thing and it's really complex. And there's so many walls that you put up to hide it. For so long, we didn't talk about it. We thought if you talk about it, you're gonna cause it to happen. And I think we're finally at this point in society where we're sick and tired of that mentality. There are so many people out there that are probably struggling with the exact same thing that I have been struggling with so many years. It's not about preventing suicide, it's about helping someone find their reasons to live. I live with chronic thoughts of taking my life. I'll never die that way. I'll never die by my hands so long as I live. That is a commitment I make to life. Just be kind to each individual that you come across. No one ever knows what's going on with, with anybody, right? All I needed was for one human being to see me, see my pain, and say something kind. Are you okay? Is something wrong? Or can I help you? It is our moral duty when we see someone in obvious pain to say and do something.